Hey guys, I'm Alex and this is Finally Functional. In the last video, I demoed the VR shoes in the actual game. I got the shoes, the end-to-end -end process, just good enough to make that demo possible. The shoes weren't great, they need lots of improvements, I was not moonwalking like a pro in that demo. So I'm going to go back and make improvements on every step of that process. First, I'm going to improve the hardware. We saw in one of the previous videos that the side-to-side -side motion didn't work very well, so I just tabled that for now. We saw that the wheels would just skid on the ground, they wouldn't move me side-to-side -side depending on which way I was leaning, which way my weight was distributed. So I have redesigned the shoes to hopefully fix that problem, and I've made lots of other improvements in the new design. And after many hours of designing, here it is. I'm going to build it, go over the improvements, and show you guys the finished product. Let's get started. That montage was getting a little long, so here's the finished shoe. So starting the improvements, you can see that the platform where the shoe sits is slimmer. The lug coupler and binding on the old design took up a lot of room compared to the new design, which I slimmed down quite a lot. For the side to side wheels skidding problem I showed earlier, you can see on the old design that the side to side wheels weren't located directly under the user's foot, they were on the side. On the new design, the side-to-side -side wheels are directly under the user's foot, so I think that this will help a lot with the skidding problem. The previous design had a mending brace going across the length of the shoe to give it more strength. The new design has three quarter of an inch hex bars that go inside of the platform, so they're hidden away. And this platform was a lot stronger than I expected. See for yourself. Previous design had two buttons on the platform. When they were pressed, the user's foot is on the platform. Otherwise, the user's foot is in the air. These buttons are exposed on the top of the platform, which means that they could get damaged. The new design uses two linear Hall effect sensors. 
These sensors are not exposed, so they won't get damaged. There are two magnets in the binding, so the sensors will tell me when the user's foot is on the platform and when it isn't. In the previous design, the binding was bigger and bulkier. I used these metal rods for the loops and they would just fall out even after I glued them in place. The new binding is much slimmer and for the loops, I just printed these little rectangular loops that insert into the binding, like so. The electronics for the shoe is a little more organized with a bottom compartment containing most of the excess wiring and zip ties everywhere to keep everything where it should be. And I added a switch to the shoe so I don't have to keep unplugging and plugging the battery in. I had a few other updates, but I'll leave it at that. So next I'm gonna print the other shoe out. I already have a lot of the parts made. So then after that, I'm going to do more programming and I'm going to make the shoes a smoother experience and add side to side movement back into the programming. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'm gonna go play No Man's Sky. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.